Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my garage. <laughs> the garage is a mess, so I will just forewarn you now. So please don't judge me by that. Also, my hair is a mess too, but I've pulled it all back because it is hot here, very hot. So, um, but we don't need to look pretty for what we're doing here today. So, here is what we're gonna do. Um, I am going to be making some more stuff for my shop and I thought I would share with you what I'm gonna make. These are going to become little, like a little baby shower closet. So I picked up these wooden plates at Joann's and we picked up some wood. What are they, 30, 35? What do we do, two and a half by 35? Those are cut down to 35, so yeah. But how, what's the width? Two and a half or two? I think it's a two. Okay, so two. So you're going to need two boards like this. So a two inch board. Um, and I'm going to be making three of these. So I had to get a piece that was, I think 36 is what we bought. So two by 36. No, those were eight footers. They're what, eight footers? Yeah, I cut Sorry, them down. two by eight. Anyway, so we cut them down with a chop saw. I shouldn't say we, Brandon did. And then they're going to sit in here. So you will need two of these for each crate that you're gonna make, okay? I will be staining these and then we are going to be putting a dowel rod through here. We're gonna cut a hole in here and put a dowel rod through that. And then this is gonna become like a little hanging closet. So you could put like toys and blankets and things down here in the bottom or a stuffed animal or whatever your little heart desires. And then along the top, along that little dowel rod, you're gonna be able to hang clothes on there okay, for the baby. So I have my, my um, crate there and I have my sander on the table over here. This is my sander. Um, it's an electric sander, looks like this, pretty cool, makes things go much faster. So I'm going to peel off the sticker that was on the crate. You're also going to need something to wipe the, the sawdust off with, or the, whatever I'm trying to say, sanding dust. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing this so I will So this one is done, it's all nice and smooth. So what you wanna do is just basically smooth out um, anything that you find that's rough. And you could actually even go further and sand you know, the inside in between here. Okay, so now Brandon is gonna just show us how he's sanding down the, um, the board that's gonna go on the sides. So remember, you're gonna need two of these in order to um, make the base for the rod that's going to go across where we can hang the little clothes and make it the closet. So he's going to go ahead and sand these down and then he will use some Gorilla Glue to attach them and then some screws as well to attach. So you will want to make sure that you have those items with you so that it makes the um, the crate closet very, very sturdy.
All right, so next we have this awesome three quarter inch dowel rod. Um, this one is 72 inches and we got it that way so it would fit all three of the little crates that we're making, the crate closets. So um, we are going to drill the hole into the wood that we just sanded down and then we're gonna make that hole so that we can slide this through there snug. So this will serve as the hanger for the baby clothes. All right, so we have this drill bit. That one right there, it's a three quarter inch drill bit, right? Fits in a normal drill. Yep. What's it called? Three quarter inch drill bit. Okay, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna put a a hole in there like a circle just like our dowel rod and how far down are you measuring about two inches no 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 one and a half so I went one inch down and I put dead center so that's where I made my mark okay got it So he has another piece of wood underneath that to stabilize it. And now this is what you're gonna have. No, down lower. Sorry. That's okay, up higher. There we go. So that's what it looks like with that drill bit. Okay, so you can see our dowel rod fits right into that circle perfectly. All right. All right, so we're gonna show you another step that you need to take once you've drilled your holes in there with your drill bit. Um, go ahead and, just you're gonna a, just need a- Take a piece of sandpaper, cut about an inch off, inch and a half, it really doesn't matter. Um, and then what you're trying to do is just roll it up so that you can then put it in the hole. Down. Sorry, into the hole. And then you're just sanding inside the hole doesn't take long it's an 80 grit paper just a few turns like that makes a nice smooth sorry makes a nice smooth hole okay all right so we are getting ready to stain our crates now you're going to want to wear a pair of gloves i got them on both hands i've got a cloth that i'm going to use to wipe the stain on brandon and i are going to do it at the same time we are using Minwax, look, let's try that again, Minwax wood finish, and we are using a water-based um, wax in the color Golden Oak. Okay, so we're starting to assemble these now, and Brandon is using Gorilla Wood Glue. We already have one kind of put together here, so we are using clamps to hold it. And you see the dowel rod there. So now we're just gonna gonna hope that these quilt clamps will hold it because I lost his other ones. Oops. Oopsies. You need another one? No. Who's the other one? Well, I gotta do that on this side left. Oh, I, you could've used two. I had a bunch. Uh, the problem is I can't, I don't think I can get okay. two. Well, sure you maybe can. I That's open down there. Can. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't know that that's still going to be strong enough. 
We're gonna find out overnight. All right, so as you can see, it wasn't strong enough to hold it with the wood glue because I didn't have clamps that were strong enough. Um, so we had to do screws. So we screwed one in the bottom and then we screwed one up at the top. And because we put those in the center, the screws were able to hold it better. If you were to move your board towards the back, it would be more sturdy that way, but we prefer to have it in the center. It just looks more uniform. Okay, so I'm gonna be making some um, receiving blankets for the little closet that we're working on here. I cut one yard of fabric, of any fabric that you can purchase anywhere, and then I just go around with my serger and serge the edges, and so that's what we're gonna do here. And I'm gonna cut off any uh, fraying threads that I see here to make it much easier when we're doing this. So, got my, we're working on the uh, Burnett B64 airlock and I love this machine because it has its self threading loopers and boy is that a game changer. Okay, so we're ready to start putting one of these together. And this is one that's actually gonna go into my shop. So this is what it looks like when it's all empty. Um, a lot of people like to do like little lights and things around here. They can add floral, they can do all kinds of neat little things here. You can put um, the baby's initials on the front, just however you wanna do this. But for me, I am just going to take some tissue paper and I'm going to place this in the bottom of my little crate here. Just gonna fold it like that. And then I'm gonna see if it fits in there. And it looks like that's the right width. So I'm gonna fold it so that it'll fit lengthwise too. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Now the reason why I am doing this is because I'm going to be putting diapers in here and I want these diapers to stay, um, I want them to protect, be protected from any kind of splintering or anything like that. So that's why I'm just going ahead and doing this now and that way. Just, it just gives an extra layer of protection there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a um, package of diapers that I have. I got these at Costco. And um, Costco has these in, I think, a pack of 190, 192 diapers. So I am just gonna open this package the same thing with the Huggies too. They, they sell those there as well. So, but for this one, we're, we're gonna work with Kirkland. And these are size one. So these are the little newborn baby diapers. All right, so I have the diapers in here. There are 64 diapers. And I've got them covered with the plastic and I will move stuff around as I go. Um, but I just wanted to show you how I start putting those diapers in there. All right, so now I have the diapers in there. I've made like a little shelf here so that things can sit up on that, as you can see right here. It is wrapped in tissue paper and plastic. So the diapers are very protected. There are 64 diapers in here. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to start cutting the price tags off of these little 
outfits that I got for this little closet. And I am just going to hang them up on the little rod up here. Now you could decorate your rod if you wanted to. You could do some flowers or um, greenery, however you wanna decorate it. It's your, your beautiful creation here. I love this little dress. I think it's so darling. These are newborn, all of these, these three little outfits that I picked up at Carter's. Aren't they cute? That's the other little one. I love the little pockets. Now I do have some pink hangers that I might switch these to, which I think I'm going to. Okay, I swapped it out. I just put a different little hanger on it. So these are actual hangers that you can use for, for your baby, um, not the store ones. Okay, so I had some of these clips, but I had them way far away from myself and I was trying to hide them, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, so the bloomers are attached. And then I'm just going to put our little dress on here. Super cute. All right, I went ahead and made um, just a quick little blanket with Minky that I had some leftover um, yardage of Minky. So I just searched around the edge. So now it's really super soft, um, double-sided Minky blanket. I am going to create a swing on here for this little gal. And all I'm going to do is come around and show you how I did this. This is one of those little logs I was telling you about that we used for my daughter's um, tables when she got married. So we would put the table numbers on here so people knew where to sit. But what I did was I drilled two holes in there and then I got some twine and I tied a knot in the bottom here to hold them secure. So that is how I made those. And now I'm just going to hang it up and try and get it even. This is the hardest part of this, by the way, because your hands wanna do things. I think I'm just going to start with this one first. And I'm going to wrap it around. Oops. I thought I had it high enough, but apparently I didn't. So I'm just tying it in a knot again up here like this, just to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna tie that up. I wanna get it even so that it's not all over the place. And it is a little hard to get it to even out. I'm not, it takes some working with it. That looks good right there, okay. And then I'm gonna just tie this one as well in an art. And you can either keep them underneath here, you can tuck them, however you want to do this. I'm just going to probably just let this probably trim that off because I have too much of a loop right here. Just let that be. And then I'm going to take my little rabbit and I'm going to sit her on her little swing.
I'm gonna put her arms through here. You could use zip ties or whatever you have around to do that, but I'm just gonna use the actual twine to do that. And I think she looks absolutely adorable up there in that little swing. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put the other blankets in here now and then I'm gonna call this one good. I probably put a ribbon around it as well. Here's the two rub cloths that I originally had out. There's a receiving blanket. There's also a receiving blanket and some toys. Now, I think that looks absolutely adorable. If it were me going to a shower, I would fill this up with more stuff. I would fill it with books. I would fill it with more toys. Uh, maybe something for mom, more clothes, you know just to customize it to what I would want it to be. So, but that is how you make a baby closet, a baby crate closet. And like I said, I think I'm gonna put some ribbon around that. So I am gonna go off camera and do that. I'm just gonna wrap it around the crate itself and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your very own uh, baby crate closet. Um, if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are all down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you would like to share it, please do so because sharing is caring. Do not forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video and keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right. So I'm going to show you what these little baby closets look like. These little baby crate closets. They are so adorable. This one is made for a very special little boy that is coming in September. So this is for my great nephew. Um, and I will show you what it looks like also from the front side. So I got a little carried away on this one, of course. But um, this is what it looks like. And I built a little swing for the little moose here so that he could swing. These are warmies. You warm them up in the microwave and then you can they help alleviate tummy aches and stuff for babies. I used twine and I used a log, cut out log that we used for my daughter's wedding <laughs> that I just had kind of laying around. So then I came over here and down below is where you can load it up with, with lots of gifts. So I've done all the little clothes. I put them in their own little hangers and then I, put packs of diapers down there and cover them with plastic so they wouldn't get splinters. That's the bigger warmy. Some Dr. Seuss books um, because that's what she requested. Her theme is woodland animals. So I have some bits in here. These are receiving blankets that I made for the baby. I need to finish making burp cloths and a rag quilt. And then this will be complete. But I just wanted to show you what a finished one of these would look like. Of course, I wrapped it with the burlap. And now we're going to put one together right now.